Hello people and happy Sunday. How are ya? It's Gino from Real Everyday English and I'm here again with my weekly video to teach you guys some more English vocabulary. Now the subject I'm going to cover this week is a subject that actually came up in one of my language exchanges this week and it is the difference between the word through and throughout. Now this is quite a complicated subject to explain but I'm going to try my best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some explanations in the description of the video below. So please do check that out. But from where I'm thinking or from where I'm coming, there are six main categories in which we use the word through. And they are as follows. I'm going to have to refer to my notes because this one's complicated. So we use the word through to describe moving in one side and out of the other of an opening, a channel or a location. Number two, we use the word through to describe continuing in time towards the completion of a process or a period of time. Number three, we use it to describe when someone is inspecting um, all or part of a collection, inventory or publication. Number four, we use it to describe up to and including. Number five, we use it to describe um, situations where we're trying to say that this happened by means of this. And number six is to be connected by telephone. Okay, so that's the word through. Now the word throughout there's a lot of crossover between the two words, but the word throughout, uh, I can think of two basic descriptions of how we use this word. And one of them would be to describe in or to every part of an object or location. And number two would be during a whole time, a period of time or during the whole action. Now, you know the way I used to teach on this channel. I use real time examples. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out there and I'm going to find some examples um, where I can use the word through so I can show you in context. And what I'm also going to do is first I'm going to give you an example of how we use the word through in a certain situation. And then to kind of home in on the difference between through and throughout, I'm then going to give an example of how we could use the word throughout in the same situation. So let's get to it. I hope this is helpful. Okay, so let's start with a couple of examples of how we might use the word through to describe moving from one side and out of the other of a opening place or location. Right now I'm in my house and you can see behind me there's a door. So I'm going to walk through the door. So as you can see, I'm starting on one side and I'm walking through the door to come out on the other side of the door. So that is to walk through something. And an example of how we might use the word throughout with the same situation is this is one door, but there are doors all throughout my house. So there's one, there's another door over here. That's number two. There's another door over here. That's number three. So there are, there are doors all throughout my house. Okay, people, it's quite windy and quite noisy out here, but I hope you can hear me. You can see behind me here, there's a tunnel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through the tunnel. So come on, let's go. So as you can see, I'm starting on one side and I'm walking all the way through the tunnel. And eventually I'm going to come out on the other side and we would describe that as having walked through the tunnel. So as you can see, I'm at the other side right now. So I have now walked through the tunnel. And to give an example of how we might use the word throughout in the same situation, can you see these, can you see these things on here? They look like bricks, but they are actually tiles. So we could say there are tiles, white tiles, all throughout the tunnel. There are white tiles all throughout the tunnel. So there was a couple of examples of how we use the word through 
to describe starting at one side and coming out of the other but I just wanted to make it clear that um, we don't only use this within with regards to yourself or with a person going through something for example a train can go through a tunnel um, or an object can go through another object like for example a pen can go through a piece of paper um, etc so yeah that's how we use the word through to describe starting at one side and coming out of the other I hope it helps so the second way we use the word through is to describe continuing in time towards completion of a task or a period of time and to give you an example of how we use this in context um, I'm currently working through a TFL course which is a teacher of English to foreign learners course and so that's me working through so I'm working through towards completion of the course and to give an example of how we could use the word throughout in regards to the course um, there are several examinations or tests throughout the course so that's how we use the word through to describe moving towards completion of a task okay so as I described in the introduction to this video we also use the word through to describe when we inspect all of or part of a collection inventory or publication so to give some examples of this I'm currently looking through this book so I'm looking through so if I was to flick through the pages I'm looking through the book and to give an example of how we might use the word throughout within this context there are pictures all throughout the book so that means there are pictures all throughout the book so that's an example we can use this to describe looking through a magazine looking through a photo album looking through a newspaper and on and on and on I could go I'd be here all day though so yeah that's to look through as in inspecting all of or part of a publication or object okay hope it helps numero five so example number five of how we use the word through is to describe by means of so to give an example of this we could say most people contract food poisoning through the eating of undercooked chicken so that's to describe the result by means of and we use the word through to convey that message I hope you get it and last but not least we have one more I have one more example to give you today and that is the word of the use that is the use of the word sorry let's start that again that is the use of the word through to describe being connected by telephone so I'll give you an example I'm trying to phone my friend by the telephone so I type his number into the phone I can't get through I can't get through to him because his phone switched off um, I'm gonna leave him a voicemail I'll try ringing him again voicemail voicemail <gasps> hiya John it's me Gino I've been trying to get through to you all morning but I can't get through um, so give me a, give me a call back when you get this message okay bye and that's the word through to describe being connected by telephone and to use the word throughout in the same context I could say I've been trying I've been trying all throughout the morning to get in touch with my friend but I can't get through there you go I hope you understand okie dokie people that was it for this week's video as always if you're new here and you like the way I used to teach then consider subscribing to the channel and I hope you learned some new vocabulary I hope the explanations I gave were good enough for you to get the gist of what I was trying to say. If you have any recommendations for future videos, then let me know. That's it. Have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye people. Take care.